Hey there folks, Mark Johnson, TechDashSnobs.com. We're going to do a full review uh, on the iPad Mini. Um, you know, a lot to say about it from an aspect of um, very, very nice form factor. I mean, honestly, it it's an iPad that really doesn't do anything uh, too much different than the regular iPad. But what it does do, is, it's pretty much a whole different experience. And, it, and the reason why I'll say that is because the fact that it's so much smaller, it actually gives you the ability to to do things in one hand and it's more comfortable. And I'll give a few examples of that. Number one, let's say, let's put in a game like Infinity Blade. Uh, Infinity Blade, real nice game. Um, it actually even takes advantage of all the, you know, the cool retina graphics and so forth if you have a higher end iPad. But the thing with it, what I like about it, is when you're playing it on the mini, it actually just, it's much easier to hold. So therefore it's just, I don't feel like I have to put this in my lap to play it. So, for instance, if I go ahead and, you know, play this game, move forward, it's just it's just easier to play the game. You know, it's just more, it's more enjoyable, um, and, I, and I definitely like it. So, I mean, that's, that's one thing there. Games such as that, you know, I put in a game like Punch Quest, um, the on-screen controls and so forth, they're just so much more easier to use than they normally would be if you were using a, the regular iPad and that's just that in itself kind of makes this more of a more capable whether it be gaming machine or um, you know if you were ever wanted to use a PlayStation Vita or a Nintendo 3DS this is where now you can really kind of recommend maybe a tablet to kind of replace one of those devices because of it, the form factor of it is much easier to hold and use so it, it's just more practical uh, to be able to do that kind of thing and a lot of other things, I mean, honestly, it, it, it's an iPad, so everything is pretty much the same. But, you know, just doing a lot of the, the tasks that you would normally do, let's just say even if I were to go ahead and go into notes, say I wanted to type in a new note, it's just, it's just much easier to type the house is on the hill. And it's just on, on bill, rather. So it's just so much easier to type on it, you know, to use it as a... Um, you know, the, the, a media consumption device. And I think even when you're looking at, like, videos and so forth, I mean, of course you will notice the resolution not being as sharp as uh, it may be on, you know, the retina display. But I think the fact that it's so much more comfortable to hold in your hand makes it, a, you know, a more practical device to use. And, and that's really the main thing about it. I mean, the camera's pretty nice. Um, it reminds me of, me a lot of the, the, the iPhone 4's camera which is a good thing. And then even like, you know, using it as a camera is probably more practical because holding it in my hand, you know, it, it doesn't look as crazy as trying to hold up an iPad. I mean, this is actually, you could literally use this to record video or to take a picture and it's not, you know, completely out of the ordinary. Um, it does even fit in your pocket, uh, which is a good thing. It does fit in. It is, you know, it is still wide, but it does fit in your pocket. And then the, the minis, um, you know, the smart cover is uh, is pretty cool, too. It does all the things as the regular smart cover would do uh, just fine. So that, that's definitely a plus. But, you know, once again, I, you know, I want to show the comparison with this and the regular iPad. I mean, it just, it's so drastic that it's kind of like, it's rather shocking when you first see it. I mean, these things are very, um, you know, different sizes. And, and in a lot of ways, it just... I mean, I love the regular iPad from an aspect, but it's kind of like when you look at these two, you know, side by side, I mean, you can see why doing things are just so much more enjoyable, I, I feel, with the mini versus the regular iPad. And like I said, I do like the, you know, the higher resolution and all that other kind of stuff. And I'm sure there's going to be uh, a mini, iPad mini with a retina display. So, you know, we'll see how that pans out over the next year or so that I'm sure it will come, but... I mean, honestly, if you, you know, even looking at books, uh, if you like reading books, let's pull the uh, let's pull a book up real quick, and just even opening up the book, you know, it's just easier to read. You know, easier to read with it, more practical. Um, you know, holding this than a regular iPad. So honestly, at the end of the day, it's an iPad. If you like Apple, you're gonna like this product. I honestly think it's going to do better than really the, the regular iPad. And it's not just because of the price. Cause I just think it's more a more usable product, um, you know, for people that want a, a mobile device. Now, 
on the other hand, the regular iPad is still a good product, you know, but it may be geared towards some people that really don't feel they need a laptop or a computer at all, because for some people, the iPad does enough that it can replace their laptop. So definitely keep that in mind uh, when you're taking a look at the iPad mini. Be sure to check the site out, tech-knives.com, for more coverage. Thanks for watching. Take care.